Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. I recreate four winter Pinterest outfits featuring sneakers. Does she really have to? She does, I know I'm asking but I already know the answer. She does have to go to Pinterest or Instagram to figure out what to wear. And what makes her think that her going to Pinterest and looking at outfits and recreating them isn't something that we could have done ourselves without her. That's the thing with narcs. Anyway, should we jump in? Hey guys, it's Lisa and we have a fun video today. Hilara Leggings asked me to partner with them and share with you some of their best styles and all about their brand. I'll be honest, I had never heard of Hilara, but when I looked it up, evidently they are very, very popular on TikTok. They really remind me of Aloe at a much better price. So to make it fun, what we're gonna do is recreate some of my favorite Pinterest looks, and it's not all leggings. I think what they're really known for are those little dresses, the little tennis dresses that are so popular. I will list below their website. I thought she was gonna say, I will be dressing in one of those. It's like, no, please, Lisa, no, leave it to Brooke. Right a 15% off code, and then they are running all types of specials for Black Friday and Christmas. So make sure you check it out. But I think the best thing, and when I read- What's all that crap on the sleeve of your jacket? What about these, that is when I decided I wanted to work with them, is they have come up with a fabric called Pat It Off, and they make leggings out of a fabric. Let's see, nope, it's this one. I can tell by just feeling it. It is like pet hair resistant. So if something gets on it, you can just pat it right off. And I thought that was so good for people like me that have pets. If you have a black dog, it doesn't matter as much, but I have cats. Even my hair gets all over things. So we're gonna start off with one of my favorite outfits, and that is an all black outfit with a blaze. Do you not think we could, I could put that together, wouldn't be all black, a jacket, a scarf, pair of leggings, trainers and a baseball cap. How difficult is that? Blazer and a baseball cap and sneakers. Most all of these looks, I think all of them except for what I have on, have sneakers. So this is going to be fun. My daughter Brooke was here and we... Who's 23, nearly 24? We're running all over recreating these, so I hope you enjoy. So we're running all over. What? In and out of your eight closets trying to find the pieces you needed to put together to make the outfits. Mm hmm start off with the padded off leggings. Like I said, they're made of this special fabric. They do <laughs> I'm sorry, where does she think she is? You have this really cool side pocket. I've got on a regular pair on now. So a side pocket right here that's great for your phone, keys, all of the things when we go walking. I'm like this anyway, but I think- All of the things when we go walking. You've only recently started walking and people wear them to work out in and run and actually exercise, not fucking dawdle around the, where they live it's really prevalent in this brand is they're very very versatile you will see who said versatile to her and now that's all we hear vibey fucking cool girl chic versatile i'm sick of it already with the other pants that i'm going to show you it's just like leisure wear that you can really bump up a notch and you know i love that i think that's what reminded me of aloe too we're pairing it with the bridget bardot anina bing sweatshirt and then my oversized blazer that i got from zara the reason i chose this one is it's one of my most oversized and it's like a almost like a and you could have used a fucking lint roller on it coat like what I've got on today like this is a black sweatshirt from cause and then I just threw this old men's banana republic blazer over it to me that's a great way to wear leggings what the fuck 
are you doing with them boots? And then I'll go ahead and show you my outfit. I have oh, on yes, you've got to show my outfit. What I'm wearing, me, look, me, 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 me. Boots from Zara, the cowboy boots. Or you could put on your sneakers or anything else. That's the Can beauty I? of it is when you get your good base layer, like your leggings and any top, then you can kind of be versatile with your other leg. Oh, well, you give up with versatile. And that doesn't even fit in that sentence. Then you can be versatile with anything else. What? That, that makes no sense. It's just word vomit at this point now, isn't it? Then to complete the look, I used my J. Crew cashmere wrap, my New Balance my, my, sneakers. My. I think a lot of you got these. And then my new. Why do you have to say my, 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 my? I wore a baseball cap. I paired it with trainers. I did the. No, fucking no, because I can't be doing with them. New York baseball cap. <laughs> And I didn't. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Didn't have any gray socks, so I just had to grab these, the ones. That... I didn't have any. Gray... Oh Lord, help us all! She didn't have any gray socks. The look was ruined. It doesn't mean you have to do it exactly. I just can't. That I just got from Amazon. It made me want some gray socks, but I really liked that whole look. Typically, I would not wear socks, but I kind of liked it. I was trying to complete the look with the bag. That's why she sent a pair of boots back, because she it was too difficult to get her foot in because she won't wear socks. So she has a tote in the picture. I just grabbed my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. The next look is a really good one. And these pants, oh my gosh, they are so nice. They're made out of like a woven material. You can see it's almost got a little weave texture to it. They've got the elastic back, but still side pockets. I'm sorry, what does she look like there? Button and zip just a really nice pair of trousers. So with this look, I paired it with an older banana. She makes I, I, I. No, you found things that looked like what was in the picture. Republic sweater. And then something that was a little bit different for me was I would typically go for a black shoe, black or nude, but I went with the white because I thought that's what made that look look unique. Was I went with the white. No, you copied the picture. Say it how it is, fuck's sake. The white platform sneaker. This is the pair I got months ago and I have loved them. And every time I put them on, it's like I love these so much. They're very, very soft. I don't know what it is about them. They're still platform, but they just have a softer feel than like the Nikes or like Vans or Converse or something like that. I love them and they're not very expensive and they give a lot of look. They're just perfect. And then I grabbed my Monsoor Gabrielle clutch to kind of complete that look. And I thought it came out really good. I learned how good the white sneakers look with those black trousers. The mm, next I look you. I did with these little fun pants. Look at those. They kind of remind me of pants I used to wear when I was younger, like with the sailor buttons. That's what it reminded me of. But I love the color. I love the front pocket. They're elastic waist, so you can kind of dress this stuff up and have fun with it, but yet you're still really, really comfortable. Has pockets in the back, which I think really help as far as being flattering on the behind. A good flowy leg. So the look we were going for had a white t-shirt hanging out, so I grabbed this one that is an Isabel. Mar Does it really matter when you're only going to see that much of it? It was longer than a lot of my other t-shirts. You know, I typically go for like a cropped style. And then I wore it under, this is the Aritzia cashmere sweater with just- That's covered in hair. The bottom coming out. And you know, I love the mix of blue and black. That's one of my favorites. 
So it really went well together. And then what I feel topped it off are the Samba sneakers. They looked really good with those blue pants. And then to recreate the look with the bag, I used this little puffer one from Amazon. You remember this? This is a good little bag. I mean, it's very plain, but they're very on trend and they just look good. You know what I mean? Like with your outfit. So I think it came together nicely. This is one of my favorite things to do. Please let me know. Dress up. Yes, we know if you like this kind of video because I really have fun with these. And then my last look was this everyday cat. Why do we need you to do it though, Lisa? Are you honestly telling me that the people that watch you are not capable of looking at that picture going, meh, I've got stuff like that in my wardrobe and putting it together themselves? Or here's a fucking way out thought that they just open their wardrobes and see things and pick them out and get dressed. Casual, kind of model off-duty look. So I used these corduroy trousers. I actually got these in the brown also, so I will be styling these soon. This is such a good color, it's so 70s. This with like one of those cool big faux furs with a bodysuit. I actually like brown corduroy trousers or just lots of good possibilities with these two. Okay, so back to the picture. I took these pants. I paired it with a white tank top, just any white tank top. I used the one from AYR, the Sexy Flexi, I think is what it's called. And then I used this bomber coat that I showed you in my mango haul. It's real leather. I love it. And it's a nice twist from the moto jacket. I think it's a little cleaner looking, but... See, the one thing you'll get from watching this video is what I've been saying all along and nobody believes me she keeps most of the stuff that she orders people think she just keeps one or two bits and sends the rest back no it's the other way around unless she thinks it looks ridiculous on her she's keeping it and then they're like where will she put it she's got eight closets in that house and a whole empty bedroom She's got plenty of places to put it. You know I always love a moto, but I like this too. I like it a lot. And for the bag, I used this, which is a vintage little Fendi baguette that I have. I bought years and years ago from one of my subscribers. She had a bunch of vintage things and I bought a few things from her. And then I needed a pair of black sneakers. So I grabbed my Rag & Bone Retro Black Sneakers. And I just thought this was a cool outfit. That's what I love about getting inspiration from Pinterest, from like real. You're not getting inspiration, you're copying. And how could you not put trousers, a tank and a fucking bomber jacket together on your own? people then you can actually think of things that you haven't thought of before you can pull from your closet remember your ingredients your style ingredients and have fun with it maybe do a look you've never done before and you're not as stuck with the things that you just got you know i'm always thinking of wearing the things i just got you'll pull something you haven't worn in a while like that banana republic sweater or using bags you haven't used in a while. It's just a lot of fun. So down below, I will list the link for all of these outfits and I will number them. There's four inspired outfits and I will also list all of the pants that I got from Hilera. Make sure you check out their website because they really have some cool stuff. If you're someone that loves like the dresses, the tennis dresses, you'll love those. Lots of good stuff. If you are a pet owner, I think you'll like the padded off leggings and have fun with it. So thank you to Halara for partnering with me. Thank you to you for watching and let me know if you liked this type of video and we'll do another soon. Bye-bye. You're going to do another soon regardless, aren't you? Because that's what you want to do. See, maybe if you gave the cats their own bed, they wouldn't get hair on your pillows, would they? Uh, this woman. Anywho, if you got to the end with me, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one.